I'd like to show you another method. This is the method for, I guess, what you might call long subtraction. Uh, it's kind of analogous to that long addition. Again, I don't know what they call it anymore in school. And again, remember, this is just a method. The, the real mathematics is, is understanding the ones, the tens, the hundreds, and how they uh, interact with each other. But this is a method that will allow you to subtract uh, relatively large numbers from each other. So let's say we have uh, 27 minus 13. Okay, so like the long addition, we take that and we rewrite it in column form. And then we subtract the columns from each other. So 7 minus 3 is 4, 2 minus 1 is 1. Simple. Okay, and you can do this, you know, indefinitely. Uh, now, here's the trick in, in uh, this method that makes it uh, useful. Let's say that we're taking 21 minus, say, 14. Okay? Now, 1 minus 4. Well, 1's bigger than 4, right? And we're not going to be talking about about uh, and negatives here, that doesn't make any sense. So what do we do? Well, what we do is we can borrow from our tens column this two, we take one away from it, so it becomes one, and now we put a one there. So 11 minus four is seven, and one minus one is zero. Let me show you with a different example that might make that clearer. Let's say 32 minus 1, 7. 32 minus 17, okay? So, taking the right column, 2 minus 7. 2 is smaller than 7, we can't do that. So, we're going to take one of these away. So instead of a 3, we now have a 2. And now, one of those tens, we're going to push over in the ones column. So now it's 12 minus 7. So 12 minus 7 is 5. And 2 minus 1 is 1. And, again, we can do this with fairly large numbers. Let's take a, a large example. Let's say... Two zero one nine eight three minus uh, one one two nine seven. So the top number is bigger than the smaller number, so we can take the subtraction. Three minus seven can't do it. So we're going to take this eight and we're going to make it a seven. And we're going to put a 1 next to the 13, next to the 3 to make it a 13. So 13 minus 7 is 6. 7 minus 9. Again, we can't do it, right? Because 7 is smaller than 9. So we're going to take 1 away from the 9, make it an 8, put the 1 next to the 7 to make it a 17. 17 minus 9 is 8. 8 minus 2 is 6. 1 minus 1 is 0. 0 minus 1 can't do it. So we're going to take a 1 away from the 2, put 1 next to the 0, make a 10. 10 minus 1 is 9. And 1 minus 0 is 1. So we can do this with, you know, lots of different times. And, you know, you noticed here that, you know, I first uh, needed to borrow for the uh, ones, and then I had to borrow again, 
and this one was okay, and this one was okay, and then I had to borrow. So, uh, the, the technique is, is broadly applicable. Again, it's a method. The mathematics has to do with the fact that I'm uh, taking from the tens column and I'm putting it into the ones. Uh, but this is a method that if you learn this method, you'll be able to subtract fairly large numbers from each other relatively quickly.